Well, hello and welcome to Canva Corner. I'm Matt Emerson, the co-founder of WBNL Coaching, and today we're going to talk about Instagram stories. Number one, I'm going to show you the different templates they already have, and they're built for you to actually use, or you can create your own. Speaking of that, our second step today is going to be actually jumping in, creating a jumping off place or starting an Instagram story. And the third thing we're going to talk about today is a little hack that you might know about, maybe you don't know about, uh, and that's how to actually create a page where you can swipe up, even if you don't have 10,000 followers. If you are joining us on Facebook Live, welcome back. And if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell to uh, get notifications because we do these Canva tips every Wednesday. So now, without any further ado, I want to bring in my co-host and cohort, Jan O'Brien. Jan O'Brien, how are you doing? I did. I'm excited to hear all those three things today. So cool. You know, you use Instagram stories because I know that you you do those occasionally. So I um, do. I, I've gotten away from using Instagram because we've been super focused on uh, YouTube and all that. Right. But I do actually like it. So I'm excited to see that because I didn't know this whole thing that you're going to do about this. Let right. me ask you a question about your Canva usage. Uh, I know obviously you use Canva on your desktop because that's where we do primarily a lot of our, our marketing work. Do you have the Canva app on your phone? I do. Do you use it? No. Okay. I know. I always find it a little bit hard too, because learning something that's in a different format is a little bit more difficult to hard, a um, little more difficult to use. If you're going to really use Canva a lot in your Instagram, you know, when you're posting, use your phone because it makes it so much easier. Now, here's the here's the great thing about the way everything works now in the world. Everything is connected, right? So I usually can you can design on your. Um, your desktop, if that's where you're used to designing things, because you have more flexibility and you can work it out a little bit better. But then when you're getting ready to post on Instagram, go to your Canva app. You can download your pictures right to your camera roll from there. You can do things on the fly on your phone that because Instagram, you can't do anything on your desktop. You have to be on your phone to do it. So right. really the, uh, the, the first step today is download that Canva app for your uh, your iPhone or your Android if you have not uh, done that yet, because you're going to really need that. It, it takes out a whole extra step when you are actually uploading things um, into Instagram. So, all right. So let's get started today. Let me share my screen here. Um, I want to uh, show you all of the things they have already in uh, Canva as far as templates go for uh, Instagram. So first of all, let's bump this size up a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Learned that last week, didn't we, Dan O'Brien? That old command plus. We're going to search Instagram. And look, all of these different places they have in here in Instagram that you can just jump off. They have Instagram post uh, templates in here, Instagram Reels video pages. If you don't know what Reels are, it's relatively newer or it's newer to Instagram. It's kind of Instagram's uh, version of TikTok, shorter videos that you can create, um, you know, that uh, and with music and all of that kind of stuff. There's an Instagram story, which we're going to talk about today. Quizzes, you know, if you ever do quizzes on Instagram. And then a lot of other just little templates in here that you can use when you are uh, working in Instagram. So there's a ton of stuff that that's already made. Let's take a peek at these quiz uh, stories here for a second. Let me back out of this. You ever do stories or uh, quizzes, Jan? Um, I've done, I don't, yeah, I think I've done just a couple, but I actually have played around here in the templates. I'm um, trying to get inspired about a quiz or a survey. I or played something. around with it last night. If you, um, my cat, Sheldon, we, we are watching, we were streaming or, or uh, binge watching television. He got onto the bed and next to a box of C's candy because we were eating C's candy while we were watching our Instagram. Uh -huh. And he was holding that box. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put a little thing on Instagram talking about Sheldon and his candy eating preferences. So I put on there and did a little poll about what kind of C's candy do you like? Do you like nuts and chews or do you like soft centers? And do you like dark chocolate or do you like... Um, um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So anyway, I, I posted that. Anyway, you can in here, there's a lot of templates that you can actually build out that that help to enhance your, instead of just putting that little sticker in there, asking a question, you can actually build out, um, uh, you know, nicer looking things that are more appealing than the grab your eye. Now on mine, I just threw a picture of Sheldon in and put the sticker in, but this page can help you actually add something that could be a little bit more eye catching and uh, you can add your stickers right on top of this in Instagram. So once again, there's a ton of stuff you can do in Instagram already. The stickers that are in there are incredible. There's a million of them in there. You can do all sorts of playing, but everyone is doing that. So this doing something in Canva and bring it into Instagram is going to just make it, you know, all that much more differentiated, you know, make it differentiate and pop out a little bit more. So a lot of templates already in there. So let's go to the Instagram story page. 
Once again, you know our, I just looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at your stories. Did you do that right from your phone? Like I did it right from my phone. Let me tell you something. Uh, just just in case you wanted to know, nuts and chews are everyone's favorites. So <laughs> nuts uh, and apparently, because I chose the other one, and I, I got a big I like. Know, everybody likes like the other one. I do too. But uh, anyway, um, so there are a lot of Instagram stories already in the, the program. If you want to use them, a lot of holiday things. A lot of these are geared towards business anyway. There's a lot of things. Uh, a lot of these stories talk about sales that are happening in your business or different products that you can actually, um, uh, you know, to kind of tell in your story. Because a story isn't just one page, right? It's a multiple pictures. You're telling a story. So, um, so these things, uh, uh, templates in here will get you started. A lot of things loaded in here right now on and, uh, the new year coming up, sales and everything like that. So there's a ton of things you can actually do to enhance your Instagram story uh, picture. So we're going to create something from scratch today. Uh, so let's go here to uh, and create a blank page. So here we are. Blank pages can be kind of daunting. Right, right. Uh, Jan has always asked or had asked a while back, you know, how do you add how, how can we use Canva to make your videos more than just a video that you're popping into uh, Instagram. And Canva is the perfect solution for that. So let's just do an example here of how you could add a video to your Instagram story. Now, I already have a video uploaded here, but if you needed to upload, you could just go to upload media and then just upload any, uh, any video you want to, either if you're on your phone, obviously from your phone, or if you're here in your desktop, you just upload it from wherever you use on your desktop. Now I have this little uh, mountain stream picture here. And I'm going to put that. Now you could just do it this way. Here, I'm going to stop it so it's not so noisy. Um, you could just put it on in there, and then put you know text or something over it, and you know, so it's not just throwing your video up and maybe putting a couple stickers on like you might normally do in Instagram. You could put a little story on here. You could add an element, you know, over here. Let's see. Let's add add a box here, and you can put. You could type over it, like where this is and, you know, follow along in the story and see other great water, you know, streams and waterfalls of the Sierra or something like that. You could do that. I always like to do something just a little bit different. So what I would do, because once again, that's kind of what you can already do on Instagram, right? Uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to just kind of switch it up a little bit and change it around. So let's go down here. I had a little quote from John Muir. The mountains are calling and I must go. Kind of appropriate. Okay goes in with what we're we're talking about here. I'm going to put the video back in here. Instead of having the video all the way over, I'm going to move this video over to the side. I'm going to stretch this video out. So now when the user goes there, they're going to see my quote, right? And this video is going to be playing. So there's going to be movement playing in the background. And hopefully they're seeing that. They're seeing my words. It's something different that you're not seeing that they're People might, some people, they don't know about Canva, might think to themselves, now, how did they do that? What, how, how did that video, how did, what, huh? So this is how you can do that. And so you can, so let's say, okay, so this is kind of boring. Let's add something else. Let's add a picture to this, let's say. So I'm going to add a picture of, you know, of Yosemite, which of course is my favorite place in the world. What do I want to add here? Let's add something cool. Let's add this shot here. Because you know what? The mountains are calling and I must go. <laughs> so we're going to add this in the background. We love our half wow. So let's put that back on in here. Because this is going to be, be going to be behind the words, I'm going to make this grayscale. You don't have to do that. I'm going to going to lighten it up a little bit here. And I'm going to move this image. See, right now, this is the top layer. I'm going to move that image to the back. So it moved to the back there. And see, already you're building this these different layers into your design. We have our video element to one side, which is going to draw the eye to it. We have a little quote up here. And um, you know, th then we have the mountains that we had just talked about here that actually are calling. So let's move sure over a little bit. So we, we have that going on. So that could be the first part of your story. And then you can maybe add something at the bottom saying, hey, you know, join join me on our our trip to you know follow 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 this story and you'll see other beautiful sites from Yosemite National Park or something like that just to kind of set your story up and then then you could either build all of your whole campaign in Canva and just load them up there or go back to the typical way you would post a story and just put your pictures into um, into Instagram. Remember, you know, a lot of times your pictures don't take up the whole screen unless you have your orientation of your phone the right way and you're taking your pictures. So you know this this method of doing this in Instagram, really what it does is allow you to maximize your screen, you know, uh, viewage on your, on the phone. So, so 
there we go. So there's the start of a story here. We kind of built that from scratch. I like to do things a little bit differently, like I said, with your, your video here, a little bit to the side, makes it makes it a little bit different. I mean, you could do this. You could tell a story about your trip, like say one hike that you did. And this little video sidebar could be on the side on every single slide. And in here, you could throw some additional pictures in. Oh, this is when we, this part of our hike, we went over to Yosemite Falls, you know, and then maybe put the header on there. So there's a thousand different things to do. You guys are all creative. That's why you're here. You want to, you want to learn how to be more creative. Uh, finally today, we're going to talk about how you can actually use that swipe up feature on Instagram. If you don't have 10,000 followers. Now I know that it took me a while to figure this out and this has been around for a few years now. So this isn't really anything new, but I would say probably still most of the people that are on Instagram don't know that this little hack is available for you to uh, to utilize. Uh, so anyone really can use the swipe up feature in a way. It's kind of like the swipe up light. And I'm gonna put a document in our, our uh, description today that just, it's really just four easy steps on how to actually do it when you get into Instagram. So we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna design the piece, but I'll put a little piece, uh, a, a document in that you can download that shows you how to upload it. And I'll go through those four things right now, super easy. Whatever video you wanna do. So let me give you the setup for this. I went to Yosemite and I filmed a five minute, I think, well, you know, video on a trail I hiked, you know, on Yosemite. So I'm going to use this as my cover. The mountain is calling to try to get people, you know, excited about swiping up. Right. So I'm going to maybe make uh, John Muir's quote a little bit smaller here. Let's move that up here a little bit higher. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna copy that because I like that font. And I'm going to just type something here. Join me on my Yosemite adventure. All right, let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's make that even still a little bit bigger. Okay, all right. So that is your call to action really. Correct. Now, when you go on to Instagram and I'll talk about this in a minute, you know, you'll add your, your real call to action that allows you to add the link on there. But still on here, you want to make people understand that they can swipe up. So I would suggest adding a sticker on here of a move, you know, some movement. Let's get some movement going on here. So first of all, you're already going to have the movement of your water down here on the, the left hand side. But let's go into elements and we're going to add an arrow sticker. Let's see here, a lot of moving stickers around here. There was one in here I particularly liked. Is it like a pointing up or something? Yeah, well, you can move anything. You can oh, move cool. these around if you want yeah, to. Let me see if I, you know, the thing that always is a little annoying about stickers, they change their positions every single time you, uh, you, you reload. So it's not the same one. You know, they're not all in the same place. If I go back over here to elements, though, I think my sticker here's the one I liked. It looked a little bit like an arrowhead. So I oh, like it. Yeah, right on. Yeah. So, you know, let's make that a little bit smaller here. Let's move it over. Oh, that's wicked cool. So now there is some movement on your page that is inviting people to swipe, swipe up. up, right? Now, you don't have to write swipe up on here, and I'll tell you why. When you go, this is how you do it. Here are the four easy steps of actually making this work as a swipe up on Instagram. You, you first of all, want to load your video that you want to send people to up into your Instagram TV. So that's step number one. Do that before you do anything else. So it needs to be in your Instagram TV. It needs to be up and active. So it needs to be a, a, a video that can actually link to something, right? Yeah. And then you are going to go in, you're going to, you know, load your image from Canva into your camera roll. You'll go into your Instagram story, like you're just gonna start another story in Instagram. You add this image in, and then you're going to add a call to action. And a call to action in this situation is just going and adding a, um, uh, just go to the text box and add us a, a box in there that says swipe up or swipe up to watch my adventure or swipe up, swipe up is the key word here, to, um, to, to, to watch my video or whatever you want to do that's going to be there. Swipe up needs to be in there. There's four or five phrases that, you know, Instagram kind of notices or keywords. Adding that, uh, the, that text box in there is actually a call to action that lets Instagram know that you have a link that you want to actually add to this, this video. So once you put that in, you'll click the, the uh, you know, publish button and it will ask you what you want to link it to. And it will show you the videos that are available. You simply click on the video that you want to, to have available there and uh, hit upload or hit 
I think it's done is what you actually hit there. And that's it. You're ready to go. So when you go to your Instagram story after that, this image is going to come up. It's going to have this uh, verbiage on here underneath where it says, join me on my adventure. It's going to say swipe up. The arrow's already there. They simply swipe up on their phone and then your video is there. And you don't have 10,000 followers. Or maybe you do have 10,000 followers and you want to have a nicer image that you can put onto your phone. So that is our Canva tip for this week. We have learned where the templates are, what the templates look like. We have uh, learned how to build a temperate template from scratch, how to use utilize video in slightly different way to kind of make you stand out a little bit more and how to uh, go in there and uh, add a, a image to help you uh, uh, build a swipe up page on your Instagram story. Cool. Yeah, I think it's it, it is a, it is a good feature. And I think it's something, like I said, that um, a lot of people don't know that they can do until they get to a certain point in Instagram. So a quick question. I know you just said it, but just to re, re or you covered it when you hit download because there's a video in here in the, in the animated GIF, if you will, it, the only option is an MP4, right? Yo, so yeah. When you're download, yes. When you're downloading this, you have your camera roll. Now yeah, you go very, to Instagram and then you upload it to your yeah. Right. You upload this to your story. That's right. If you remember from past weeks, you know, you can post a lot of things directly from Canva to social media like Facebook and Twitter yeah. and uh, LinkedIn. There is no way, once again, they don't like you uh, posting from other devices uh, into Instagram. So you do need to download it to your camera roll and then back and you know, upload it back into Instagram. Um, but uh, a great feature. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot to learn in Instagram. We're going to be covering more things as time goes on. We're going to dive into the reels once I get a, uh, my, my arms wrapped around reels a little bit more and just have some more fun building things on Canva. So we do Canva tips every Wednesday. We do Jana Bryan does her coaching tips every Monday and Cosmo Morabi does a tech tip every Tuesday. We also do our podcast, Wandering But Not Lost podcast um, every uh, Friday. Uh, so make sure you, you check in there. Once again, if you are on Facebook, thank you for joining us today. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that uh, little notification bell. Until next week, be creative and be forever wandering, but not lost.